Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, in this video, we will explain the facial buttress system. Facial trauma can cause morbidity and mortality uh, throughout the world. Trauma to the facial region frequently results in injuries to the soft tissues, teeth, and major skeletal component of the face, including the mandible, maxilla, zygoma, naso orbito ethmoidal complex and supraorbital structures. In addition, these injuries frequently occur in combination with injuries to the other areas of the body. Major causes of the facial fractures include motor vehicle accidents and physical fights. Other causes of injuries include falls, sports-related accidents, and work-related accidents. Facial fractures resulting from motor vehicle accidents are far more frequent in persons who are not taking the uh, preventive measures at the time of accidents, such as uh, wearing the seat belts or helmet. In order to understand the classification of facial fractures, uh, the face can be divided into upper third, middle third, and lower third. Here you can see the upper third having uh, the bone that is frontal bone, where is the lower third uh, contain the uh, mandible, where is this diagram shows the different bones of the middle third. Uh, these are the different bones of the mid face. Uh, here you can see the, uh, the ethmoid bones with its conchi, that is the component of the mid face, but the uh, superior and um, uh, middle concha. These are the component of the uh, ethmoid bone. Uh, where is the inferior concha is the separate bone of the uh, mid face. Uh, the important thing about the bones of the mid face is that these are very thin uh, cortical uh, bones and these can be easily crumpled or broken. But this mid face also contain a, a strong bony uh, reinforce, reinforcement. Uh, uh, for example, the palatal, palate and, and alveolar process are, you can see, uh, uh, zygomatic buttress and it processes orbital rims, uh, pterygoid plates of the sphenoid bones. These components are very strong and this gives you uh, the concept of the facial buttress system and we discuss in the next slides. Uh, so based upon this division of the face, uh, the classification of the facial fractures is, is uh, that is the upper face fractures, uh, mid face fractures, and the uh, lower uh, facial fractures. It is a very, very simple uh, classification of the fractures depending on the uh, 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 anatomical division of the face. Uh, so now come to the uh, facial buttress uh, system. Uh, uh, basically, the facial buttress system refers uh, to the areas of relatively uh, thick bone um, uh, that supports the functional elements of the face, for example, eyes, teeth, uh, or airway. It means the uh, facial buttress system of the face uh, is formed by a strong bones and it gives support to the weaker bone. Uh, for example, as we pointed out in the previous slide, that the uh, uh, bones of the mid face are very weak and these are fragile. Uh, so uh, these can be supported by the uh, thicker bone uh, of the facial buttress system uh, to give them strength and stability. In approaching the facial fractures, uh, the surgeon attempts to rebuild the face on the basis of concept that certain bony structures within the face 
provide the primary support in the vertical and anterior posterior direction. Uh, so the facial skeleton can be conceptualized as four transverse and four paired vertical buttresses. Uh, the vertical buttress, uh, buttresses directly or indirectly connect the interior facial skeleton to the posterior skull base. The greater thickness of bone in the facial buttresses, both horizontal and vertical, with respect to the remainder of the facial skeleton provides a rigid protective framework for the orbital contents, sinuses, teeth, and nasal cavity, as we pointed out in the previous slide. So remember here, the one important point that the disruption of the facial buttresses can change the facial dimensions and alter normal function, necessitating surgical fixation uh, for restoration. So always follow uh, this buttress system in the reconstruction, or you can see placing the uh, plating uh, for the rigid fixation. Here you can see the facial buttress system. Uh, this is the horizontal component, that is the frontal bar, and this is a nasomaxillary. Uh, that is the vertical component. So here in this diagram, you can see a vertical, uh, sorry, horizontal. This one is also horizontal as well as the vertical component here. This is one is also a vertical component. So this is a vertical as well as the horizontal. That is a component that is mandible, contain a horizontal component as well as the vertical component you will see in the next slides. So the buttress, uh, that is the vertical buttress, uh, that is, it, this is a pair that is present on both sides. So this uh, buttress exists bilaterally that from the primary vertical support of the face, that is nasomaxillary, zygomatum comaxillary, pterygomaxillary, and uh, vertical mandible. Here you can see uh, uh, the vertical uh, component uh, that is uh, uh, on the medial side is the nasomaxillary and this one is the uh, zygomaxillary and as we said that this is a paired it means that is present bilaterally uh, on the opposite side as well. Uh, there here is another view you can see here this is a nasomaxillary and this is a zygomatico uh, maxillary, but uh, uh, it has also a component going across the frontal bone. So this one is the frontozygomatico maxillary, that is also the component of a zygomatico maxillary. This one is the terigo maxillary component of the vertical buttress system, and here you can see a vertical mandible. This is another view of the facial buttress uh, system uh, for the vertical support. Uh, now, this vertical uh, system uh, is uh, very well developed. Why? Uh, because the mysticatory uh, forces, these are in the uh, vertical directions. So, due to the uh, these masticatory forces uh, that directs in the uh, vertical uh, direction. Uh, and the, therefore, this uh, vertical buttress system is well developed in humans. The structures that support the facial uh, projection in an anterior posterior direction uh, include the uh, frontal bar, uh, zygomatic arch and zygoma complex, uh, maxillary alveolus and palate, uh, the base, the basal segment of the mandible uh, and the infraorbital rim. Uh, here you can see uh, the anterior posterior component, or you can say horizontal buttress system. Uh, this one is the frontal bar, uh, 
this is a, a zygomatic uh, component that is a zygomatic uh, arch and arch and the zygoma complex. Uh, here you can see the maxillary alveolus and pellet on the inside. And this one is the basal uh, segment. This one is a basal segment of the uh, mandible. Let's see a few examples of how this uh, buttress system is applied for the surgical fixation. Uh, here you can see an L-shaped uh, plate that is placed across the zygomatico maxillary buttress. Uh, two plates uh, uh, which have been bent to conform to the shape of the lateral buttress that is a zygomatico uh, maxillary buttress on both sides. Uh, two plates uh, to the medial buttress, as you can see, uh, and also the uh, fixation of two plates on the uh, lateral that is a uh, zygomatico maxillary. So on the medial side, uh, our naso maxillary buttress is restored and on the lateral side, the zygomatico maxillary buttress is also restored. Uh, here you can see the bone graft is used to uh, fill the defect, uh, and the buttresses are restored by the L shape on both sides. Uh, in such case, the lateral buttresses uh, are placed first, uh, followed by the uh, medial buttresses. Uh, here you can see the medial plates are applied on the uh, medial buttresses. That is a naso maxillary uh, buttresses. Uh, here you can see the plate is applied across the infraorbital rim. That is also the component of the horizontal buttress uh, system. So this was uh, all about the facial buttress system and its uh, clinical application. Uh, thank you.